After winning the SEC West in a year where a lot was new, new head coach, new coordinators, new starting quarterback, the Brian Kelly era moves into year number two in Baton Rouge, and with it, some stability and an eye on the ultimate prize. We're excited about what we've done in a very short period of time, and the foundation of success uh, is built in consistency. Alabama and Georgia continue to hold that mantle of consistency in terms of playing for championships, and that's what we'll be looking uh, to be at LSU. Starting with the offense, LSU returns eight of the 11 starters from last year's squad that averaged 44 points per game, which was the second best mark in the SEC. But perhaps most importantly, it will be the second year in Baton Rouge for starting quarterback and Arizona State transfer Jaden Daniels. I feel like we could have a top offense in the country. Um, you know, going out there and we have the guys are, we have the talent out there. Um, guys are special to go out there and really make those plays. On defense, things will look very different. LSU was in the bottom half of points allowed in the Southeastern Conference, and the Tigers lost over half their starters. But Brian Kelly and his staff addressed those losses and likely even upgraded what they had previously. As headlined by cornerbacks Denver Harris from Texas A&M and Deuce Chestnut from Syracuse, plus linebacker Omar Spates from Oregon State, LSU earned the highest rated incoming transfer class by 24-7 sports. To get better defensively, you know, the team, we just have to – really focus in on those small details and, and come together and watch a little more film together and do things of that nature. You know, naturally, we've, we've gotten better getting guys in that transfer. Of course, it is impossible to talk about last year's Tigers without discussing what happened versus Alabama. Louisiana State defeated the Tide for just the second time in 12 years in a 32-31 overtime victory. This win, though just one regular season W on paper, can be used as a recruiting pitch in the years to come. When you look at it from a tangible standpoint, what it did for us is it helps us in recruiting that we don't have to paint a narrative that, that's not true. In other words, that we can say, look, we're going to compete with Alabama. Um, we're, we're going to be able to beat Alabama. It's not a fantasy. It's a reality. LSU opens the regular season in the Camping World kickoff in Orlando Sunday, September 3rd versus Florida State. In Nashville, I'm Nick Kuzma, Fox 54 Sports. Other schools I've been to, Notre Dame in particular, I had to go to a particular state and pull the best player out of that state. 
That's a lot harder than being in Louisiana and being the flagship university. And if you recruit that young man the right way, like you're supposed to, um, he wants to be a tiger. I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing, obviously, what those two other teams did with the women's basketball and, and baseball. Um, you know, it's second to none. They could go out there and they both won championships. Uh, hopefully, we could follow up with one. But, you know, other than that, we got to take it day by day and really just enjoy the process, enjoy the season with each other. A lot of talks and a lot of, uh, uh, of expectations, of course. We would love to uh, make everybody happy and win the national championship and have a that uh that cycle continue it would be amazing it's within their offense um you know i i i think more than anything else it starts with um the ability to get the ball to your playmakers and, and give them the opportunity to make plays in space. It's that simple. And I don't know that, that uh, we, we clearly could have done a better job at that last year, um, but we feel like this spring was an opportunity for us to really focus on those things. Um, and we liked what we saw. 